Hello! Welcome to California. I'm Carolina and today I'm going to share with you why I decided to move to Los Angeles, the heart of the entertainment industry. So if you ever thought of moving here or maybe you already did, keep on watching. When I was 14, I did my first girls trip to New York City with my mother and my sister. I remember during that trip, I felt so inspired by New York that I fell in love with the city. When I went back to Brazil, it became my mission to live in New York. So I remember even like when I was sometimes in class, I would be crying emotional about living that experience again. I wanted to be in an environment where I felt inspired every single day so I could find out who I was. I spent years moving towards that goal and eventually four years later, at 18, I got a scholarship and a job that helped me pay for school. And I was able to live in my dream city and I remember it being one of the most amazing experiences ever. Living in New York was wonderful and it wasn't that hard to adapt because I was so passionate about the city and I had some family support that those two bases just made things a little easier for me. But even so, when you move to a new city, there are several things that you need to adapt to, such as school, work, making friends, among other things. I would say it took maybe a year and a half for me to fully adapt and figure these things out. Two years and a half in living in New York, I had finally graduated from school and I was ready to live the city the way I wanted. I had finally built a life. I had friends, I had great connections for work, and I even have a boyfriend. I feel like I was doing pretty good. Living in New York, I was able to achieve what I wanted. I felt inspired every single day and I was able to try so many different career paths. I was a filmmaker, I produced videos, I edited videos, I was even on camera at a certain point. And all these things exposed me to so many different opportunities and I feel like New York is maybe one of the only cities that is able to offer that in the world. But from having so many different experiences, I was able to find my first big goal in life, which was to stay in the United States and continue working in the entertainment industry. I took all the big connections I had made in New York and I made strategic phone calls to them as soon as I graduated and looked for job opportunities. One of my connections was based in LA. Um, let's call him Bobby. And Bobby worked in the film industry. I gave him a call and he ended up offering me a job in film production in Los Angeles. So at that moment, I was very shocked and surprised. It was the definition of mixed feelings because logically it made absolute sense for me to go to LA and pursue such an amazing job opportunity. But emotionally, I was very torn because my passion was living in New York and I was still living the dream. To have to make that move, it really just broke me in some ways. After I got the news, I remember I decided to just walk around New York because the city speaks to me in such a high level that whenever I just walk around the city, I'm able to find some answers. But for the first time, I couldn't. And I was crying through the whole time, but you know how New Yorkers don't care. It's great. So I was just crying and trying to understand why was I so scared? But then I realized because I was so afraid of taking that step, leaving behind everything I had built and starting over, that's why I had to make that decision. Because the person that I wanted to become and the high level that I wanted to be in my industry, that kind of fear is just not acceptable. So I thought, I have to make this move for my personal growth and my professional growth. So I decided to move to LA, as you can see. Within a week of making my decision, I moved to LA and it was extremely unplanned, just kind of like in the movies, but not as fabulous. Basically, I had no apartment. I didn't have a driver's license in the United States, so that took a while to figure out. I didn't have a car. I didn't have any friends. The only thing I knew about was my job. So I would go to work every day and that felt pretty fulfilling, but adapting to all the instabilities I had to deal with at the same time and not having that core family support was extremely hard. I felt really lost and since everything happened so quickly, I completely lost direction for a moment. I remember I felt so lonely that working on the weekends was exciting and I even got depressed for a little while. After about four months living in LA, I got requested into work on a weekend and my boss dropped me off at home after. I remember he was someone that I really, really admired and I was constantly asking questions at the time because I was trying to understand why I was in LA, what was I doing? So I asked him, what got you through the moments of struggle? And that's when he introduced to me for the first time a topic that's changed my life completely, which is ambition. He had an ambition, he was focused on something, which meant no matter what setbacks came his way, he was gonna keep 
going, and he did. And ambition, it comes from something even bigger than just wanting something. It's something that's a part of you. Even though it feels very obvious to me right now that that's what it was all along, that gave me a lot of answers and reconnected me with the reason I was in LA, which was to work with the best people in the industry. And that this step was just a casualty that I had to go through in order to succeed and achieve what I wanted. So that gave me the energy and the strength to keep going and got me out of this bad negative flow and into the next steps. Now that I had reconnected with my passion, I was able to continue pursuing my goal. Though the journey wasn't perfect, it got me where I needed to be. And by going through so much struggle, I really honestly believe it made me stronger today. Now this is a general tip for whoever's moving to a new city. If you feel like there's a bigger opportunity that you should pursue and that's why you're there, remember to give the city at least a year because I noticed that I only started getting the answers I needed from LA after being a year there. Same from New York City. So remember to give the new city that time and you some time to adapt because rebuilding your life is just never going to be easy. It's a bold move, it requires you to be courageous, but honestly, looking back, it is absolutely worth it. And it's gotten me even closer to who I need to become. So can you tell, from my inspiration, I found a goal and then my ambition. Now I feel like I'm moving into an even bigger phase in my life, which is to find my purpose. What is my purpose? I'm still figuring it out. But what I've noticed from my actions is that I'm consistently trying to get out of my comfort zone and then something I'm super inspired by and try to push my friends to do as well. Because whenever I try something new, I learn something new about myself and I find new interests that I never even knew I had. So how are you gonna know you like something or you don't really like it if you don't try? And the only way you can do that is by being vulnerable, putting yourself out there and trying new things. My next step in searching for my purpose is to share stories of ambition. Talk to different people, understand what's their passion, what's their past, what were moments of struggle and how they got through them. And hopefully through these stories, you and I can learn together and maybe even find ourselves in them. Now it's time to be brave. Are you ready? If so, click the subscribe button and let's follow different journeys together. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Carolina Hisoto and I'll see you soon.